and welcome to Art with Mrs. Buffo. Today we're going to be creating a project using the art element of shape, different design principles such as balance. We're going to be working extensively with scissors and with glue, techniques on applying and using these art materials. Let's get started. We've been talking in kindergarten art class a lot about our art concept of shape. This is an element meaning an object created when a line connects at its two ends. Do you remember how we took that piece of yarn and created different shapes? Well, today we're going to be creating this awesome shape of a Christmas stocking. Throughout this image, we're going to employ the art concept of balance. This is a principle of art and is defined as a state of equal distribution. This means we're gonna have ideas on both sides of the image that are similar. Like all of our other projects, step one includes writing your name, date, and class on the back of your paper. Today's date is 11 dash 18 dash 20. In step two, we're gonna take our red piece of paper and draw a stocking, starting with a rectangle at the very top of the page. Two long lines side to side, two short lines up and down. Starting on the right side, we're gonna draw a big letter J, starting on the left side, a little letter J. We're gonna connect those two J's with a rainbow shape. That makes our stocking outline. Scissors are a very important art tool. We use them to turn large items into smaller items. It's very important that we are safe with our scissors. Hold them closed, only cut paper and yarn and cut away from your body. The small hole in the scissors is for your thumb. The large hole in your scissors is for your first three fingers. We're going to be using this art tool to cut out our stocking from the red piece of paper. Do you remember what I said about the two holes in the scissors? The little one is for your thumb and the big one is for your first three fingers. I'm gonna hold the paper with the hand that does not have the scissors. Following the lines, I cut very carefully. When we're using scissors, slow and steady wins the race. There's no need to rush. Some of these corners can be difficult. If you need help, please raise your hand and stay in your spot. Wait for the teacher to come to you. Next art tool we're using is glue. Artists use glue to attach two pieces of art materials together. You don't need a lot of glue to make things stick. Let's take a look at the type of glue we're using today. Today we're using glue sticks. The idea about using glue sticks is to draw an outline on the outside edge of the piece of material that you want to glue down. We're gonna draw a racetrack on the outside edge of our paper to help us with this today. In step four, we start by drawing that line. Think of it as a racetrack. Take your finger and follow your racetrack. That's where your glue is gonna go. We're gonna go around three times. Three means it's okay. Take the cap off of your glue stick and screw it out just a tiny bit. Follow your racetrack one time. Follow your racetrack two times. And finally, Follow your racetrack three times because we know that three means okay. Don't forget to put the cap back on your glue stick so it doesn't dry up. We are for step five. Flip your green paper over and smooth down your stocking that you've just applied your glue stick to. Take out your crayons. Let's add some details. Most stockings have balance through the toe and the sock of the image. Think of the socks that you're wearing right now. I chose to use a blue crayon. On my red paper, the blue crayon doesn't look bright blue like it would on a white piece of paper. Why do you think that is? It's all in the application technique. I want you to take a look at the other details I'm adding to mine. See if you can come up with some of your own original creative ideas on how to decorate your very own stocking.
As I was looking my project over, I thought, man, something's missing. What can I do to make my product look more finished? I decided to add a picture frame to my green background. I did this by drawing in a rectangle, then connecting the corners of my rectangle to the corners of my paper plane. Now I'm coloring it in. In today's project, we talked about the principle of art called balance. We also discussed in depth the use of the art tools, scissors, and glue. I hope you had fun with this holiday inspired project. Thanks for watching and this is Mrs. Buffo saying see you soon.